Good morning, riders. It's Will from Very Bright Bike Lights. Wanted to update you since I haven't made a video in probably about a year and a half to two years about what's going on with Very Bright Bike Lights and the future of Very Bright Bike Lights. First of all, uh, my new company is going to be called Gemini Bicycle Products, and that, as, that has been applied uh, for a patent for that name. So anything that is released under uh, Gemini Bicycle Products will actually also be uh, patented. Um, we put a lot of money and effort into this um, to bring you guys some quality products, including the new uh, generator system, which some of you uh, have when I released it under Very Bright Bike Lights. Um, it will be re-released in the near future. Right now, I want to show you the newest uh, addition to the Gemini Bicycle Products lineup. Actually, it's the first edition under the new name. It is the new motorized bicycle-specific uh, hub designed for the newer hybrid engines, uh, the Min Minarelli uh, hybrid engines uh, that are putting out a lot more horsepower, a lot more torque. It's also great for the four-stroke builders out there. So let's get on with it and I'll show you what's coming in the next four weeks here at Gemini Bicycle Products. Okay, here are the uh, new hubs that are gonna be coming out uh, in four weeks, approximately, here at uh, Gemini. Uh, first of all, the new hubs are going to use uh, 3 8 axles as standard. Um, this is just going to be the standard axle. It is going to be a heavy duty. Uh, it's a really nice axle that will go inside. Here's the hub. Wait for it. Here it is. Here's the new hub. Um, so these axles will be inside this hub. Now you will be able to upgrade from the 3 8 axles to 12 millimeter axles. Here's another hub with the 12 millimeter axle in it. You can tell the difference is quite significant. Um, these 3 8 axles are heavy duty and they will hold up under most extreme situations. But if you feel the need and you want the beef, there it is, 12 millimeter axles, um, sealed bearings, of course. And um, let me show you a few design features. You've got the three bolt hole patterns for your standard um, uh, three hole CNC sprocket um, so you can buy these anywhere I will not be providing at least not on the get-go I won't be providing any sprockets or free will um, pedal side sprockets at all just the hubs bearings and axles so you can buy these anywhere um, I think the inside diameter needs to be 72 76 millimeters but um, when I check in online, pretty much all the three hole sprockets uh, come with the same inner diameter hole, so you should be safe. So that'll bolt on there. There's your uh, disc mount for your, your six hole disc mount for your disc brakes. So you'll be able to um, mount your sprocket on first, then uh, by the use of the spacer, put that spacer on and then mount your disc on top of that and the reason for that is it gives you the clearance that you'll need seven millimeters exactly um, so your rotor will clear your sprocket and still have enough room for the caliper to bolt on without interfering with your chain line all right that's that's the basic hub these are going to be drilled for 11 uh, gauge spokes and there's plenty of meat and potatoes on there, as you can see, for drilling down to probably eight or nine gauge spokes. I would say uh, tens, maybe nines to be safe. Um, I left about four and a half millimeters of meat between the um, uh, edge and the actual center of the hole. Uh, ten, 10 gauge is absolutely no problem. Um, so there's the spin on for your freewheel hub and um, what I've been doing today is experimenting a little bit because I've had a couple of riders ask me will these be able to be uh, dual disc brake so the answer is yes um, there is plenty of meat and potatoes left on the hub as you can see there's lots of meat in there and this is what I've done today just kind of screwing around now I've got a couple of these prototypes here's the hub and this time I um, 
mounted it actually you can see I drilled and tapped holes all the way around and just mounted the disc brake or disc brake rotor on there underneath the freewheel um, it would be optimal if I took the heads of those bolts down just a little bit to allow more thread but that's again a minute problem that can be fixed rather easily so if you've got this hub um, you could uh, drill and tap and the, and the way I did it to line it up is I just took a standard thread on disc brake rotor adapter threaded it on the hubs down tight and then use these as pilot holes to drill my holes and then tap them it took me all of about 25 minutes to do that so you'll be able to run dual disc brakes on this hub as well um, that's about it it's um, coming in uh, middle of January um, these were designed by me they are patented uh, under Gemini bicycle products so they will be uh, made by me and if you see any on the market that are not made by me or sold by me then they're counterfeit and I get to sue them and make money <laughs> at least that's the theory anyway so anyway riders stay safe have a great holiday season Merry Christmas to you guys and uh, for all you guys that have been on my YouTube channel for for years and years thank you for the support and it's good to be back in business again <laughs>